cooking style is super unfussy, very relaxed, casual, all still while looking really beautiful. I love it when things look impressive, but don't take a ton of time. For me, it's about spending less time in the kitchen and more time with your friends. I'm Allison Roman, cookbook author and food writer. I'm gonna show you a few simple upgrades to elevate and ease your weeknight dinners. Today I'm making anchovy butter shrimp over garlicky toast. And this is sort of like my weeknight version of pasta because sometimes even that takes too long, but I still wanna eat as many carbs as possible. So toast really taking the place of pasta here. And the best part about this recipe is that it starts with something that you can make double of, have around, and use throughout the week. And that's gonna be the anchovy butter. As you can guess, the two main ingredients are anchovies and butter. But I'm also gonna put a little bit of garlic in there because everything is better with garlic. So for something like this, where the butter's gonna get melted into the skillet, I like to finely grate the garlic rather than chop it to avoid tiny burn bits of those chunks. And then we're gonna add butter. And I like to start with a room temp butter. Always use unsalted. I'm just incorporating the butter and the garlic together so that everything is evenly distributed in there. Cool, so I'm gonna let that hang out in there. I'm gonna give it some salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna chop the anchovies. And you don't need to actually get these super fine. I like the bits of anchovy in there. The reason that you don't wanna leave it too chunky is because you wanna make sure that every time you use the anchovy butter, you're, you're getting some of that anchovy in there. So this anchovy butter is great on everything. I use it all the time on things like pasta. I use it on roasted vegetables after they come out of the oven or a seared steak while it's still warm. But probably my favorite way to use it other than this toast is to smear it onto a chicken before I roast it. It is amazing. So now I'm just gonna add it to the butter because that's when the garlic butter becomes anchovy butter. If you're afraid of using anchovies because you don't think you like them or you think it's gonna make your food fishy or weird, it doesn't. It's just something that I like to add as like a secret weapon that adds a little bit of saltiness and meatiness and kind of makes things taste more complex than they actually are. So our anchovy butter is done. Extremely happy about that. This is where the garlic toast comes in. For this, you can use any sort of like crusty big loaf. This is a ciabatta, that works great too. I really like bread that has a lot of holes in it, which I don't think is a technical term, but it makes it really crunchy when you make your toast in the skillet. So we've got our bread, it's all sliced, and now I'm gonna slice the garlic. When people ask me, you know, how do you make dinner on a weeknight and not have it drive you crazy or stress you out, I feel like my advice is always the same, which is less is more. And I think that you don't need a ton of ingredients or fancy equipment or spend a ton of time to get something that tastes really amazing and also looks really beautiful. So our bread is ready, our garlic is ready, and now we're gonna make it in the skillet. So I'm gonna add the bread. And I'm just gonna press lightly, and not only does that help the bread absorb more oil, but it also helps it brown evenly on the bottom. And I'm just gonna toast that three-ish minutes per side until it's golden brown. That's one of those things where you can kind of check. It's not there, you let it go. It's not gonna burn. It looks amazing. <laughs> it looks really deeply golden brown. I love it when things look like color of a well-baked croissant or something. You want it to be like very rich, very golden, almost like a graham crackery. And just to make sure that other side gets as much love as the first, I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. And also the garlic, because you can't have garlic toast without the garlic. And you may think to yourself, that looks like a lot of garlic, and you are absolutely correct. It's called garlic toast, not regular toast. You can tell when the other side of your toast is done when the garlic is done. It's a really good visual indicator. So I'm gonna just transfer this to a platter. You can kind of set it aside while we cook our shrimp in the same skillet. So already in the time that it took me to make the anchovy butter, slice the bread, the garlic, cook the toast, make everything nice, I feel like my pasta water wouldn't even be boiling. So already, you know, my whole thing is like, how can I eat sooner? And this definitely helps me achieve that. Any leftover oil in the skillet from the toast, just leave it in there. Because that's gonna taste like toasted garlic, which is then gonna flavor our shrimp. So I don't want to overcrowd the skillet, so depending on the size that you're working with, just make sure that they're not totally overlapping with each other. But because there's so much toast involved, I would plan on a pound-ish, a pound and a half for four people. And this is a large shrimp, and you're gonna make sure that they're peeled and deveined, so you don't have to worry about the shallows or anything afterwards. So I'm just gonna get these started on one side, get them going in the skillet, and then I'm gonna add the anchovy butter. Your goal is to not really cook the anchovy butter that much, it's just something that you wanna kind of finish with. So these are almost done, I'd say about halfway, and now I'm gonna add the anchovy butter. 
And you can be as generous as you want. I am feeling extremely generous right now, so I'm gonna add a lot. So you're just gonna let it melt into the skillet and let the shrimp finish cooking in it. So now, be your time. And you're not boiling them, you just kinda want enough for them to simmer. You're gonna reduce it just a little bit so that it soaks into the toast and gives you something to sop up all that bread with. I'm gonna cook it for like a minute or two. So before I cut the lemon to juice it over, I'm gonna add the zest to the shrimp. Anytime you're using a fine grater like this, you're just gonna get the zest. It's not that white part. So it should just be bright, florally, citrusy, never bitter. I'm gonna pour this over. This looks and smells so, so good. And if people just show up at your house expecting dinner, which they do to me all the time, this is uh, definitely an easy go-to. You can be as casual or as nonchalant about this as you want. The idea is that you're getting enough sauce and shrimp onto each piece of toast to like really soak it in there and top it. So we'll do some citrus. And then I am, as with all things in the kitchen, extremely casual with my herb. And so everything kind of just gets strewn over and this is my anchovy butter shrimp over garlicky toast. And as you can tell, it came together super quickly. I feel like there's a lot of room to make it your own. Add chili if you want it spicy. Use lime instead of lemon. I can't wait to eat this. Mm. That is so good. I love, you know, the like crispy toast that gets soaked in the juices. It's almost like stuffing. Extremely comforting. So delicious. Anchovy butter all day, every day. I love this dish. And there you have it, a very short, a very simple, a very sweet summer meal.